Hey YouTube, it's your girl Juanita Franklin coming to you guys with another video on today. But before I get into what this video is about, I just want to say I hope all is well with everyone. I hope everybody's doing what it takes to keep themselves safe from this coronavirus, this COVID-19 that's going around in our country. I hope everybody's finding joy, love, and happiness and peace in your lives. I hope everybody's doing fine. <laughs> Okay, guys, now I can get to what this video is about. This video is going to be about two different things, guys. Uh, the first thing is to give you guys an update on how my, th how my therapy session is going with my therapist. That's the first thing. The second thing is I'm, I'm going to talk to you guys about the Christmas grab bag that I'm doing with my subscribers and my supporters and my viewers. Everybody that's supporting my channel, growing my channel, subscribe to my channel. I'm doing a Christmas grab bag. Uh, we're gonna do a get. We, we're gonna get together with each other, me and you guys, because you guys are my family, the Franklin family gang, and we're gonna do a Christmas grab bag for Christmas to help bless one another. How about that? That sounds good. And I'm, I'm trying. I'm gonna. It's, I'm gonna make it fun for everybody. So I'm gonna discuss these two topics right here. So I'm going to start off with my therapy session first. I did have another therapy session on today, um, earlier today at 11 a.m. Literally, it's nighttime here. It's after 8 p.m. here at night in the state of Illinois. So I want to give you guys an update on how my therapy section is going. Um, I get, I get therapy like once a week. Um, the therapy session so far is going great. I got a lot of things out that need to be out. Um, as I told you guys, I went through some traumatic experiences in my past that traumatized me and wounded me and scarred me and broken me. So I need to be able to heal from these past trauma, past traumatic experience, um, wounded spirits, being scarred, being broken. I need to better heal from these things, so I needed therapy. I'm not gonna lie. So now I am currently in therapy, and as I got, I told you guys in one of my previous videos, it's uh, quite a few family members of my mom's side of the family that's in therapy because, like I said, the preachers in my family on my mom's side literally pray for everybody in the family that needed therapy to get it to better heal from some of the past trauma that we went through. So yes, I'm currently in therapy. I get therapy once a week. And today, my therapy section, I wanna give you guys an update on um, some of the things that uh, my therapist discussed with me. And she's a lady therapist. And she was telling me that um, you do not suppose to suppress your feelings Meaning, like, a lot of people, you know, if they went through some type of traumatic experiences in their past, some type of uh, pain from their past, uh, some type of wound, some type of scar, some type of bro something, something that broken them, you need to be able to heal from those things. And like she said, in order for the healing process to begin, in order for you to heal from that traumatic experience, from that traumatic uh, uh, the thing that the thing that traumatized you, the thing that wounded you, scarred you, broken you, you need to be able to not suppress that pain that you're walking around carrying on the inside. You can't suppress those feelings. You got to let those feelings out. That's part of your healing is to let those feelings out. You know, some people they um they walking around in pain and they've been through some traumatic things in their past. And they're suppressing those feelings. They don't want to let that pain out. They don't want to let those emotions out. You got to, like, like my therapist said, uh, not suppressing your feelings mean even if you got, even if you got to get out to yourself and cry some of that pain out, you need to be able to do that because that's part of your healing. You can't suppress your pain. You can't hold on to that pain. You can't walk around, keep that pain buried deep inside of you and walk it around as if it's not there. You can't walk around and act like you're fine when you're not fine. You can't walk around and act like uh, you're not traumatized and you are. 
in order for your healing to take place, like she said, you can't suppress those feelings. You got to let those feelings out. You got to let them out in, in order to heal from the, that, that, that traumatic experience, that pain, that, that thing that traumatized you and wounded you and scarred you. And um, you got to let, you got to not suppress those feelings. You got to let them out. You can't walk around with all that stuff buried and bottled up on the inside of you. You got to let that pain out. Like she said, even if you got to get out to yourself and cry the pain out of some, you know, you got to let it out. You can't suppress those feelings. You can't stop that pain from coming out of you. You got to cry that pain out because that's part of your healing. And in order to heal, in order to better let that thing go that traumatized you, you got to not suppress your feelings. You got to let that pain out. You can't walk around with all that stuff bottled up and bury it on the inside of you because it's not healthy and you're not going to heal that way. Um, you got to cry all that pain out in order to heal. So that's what she told me today. You can't suppress those feelings, you know. So that's what she told me. You know, in order to heal, you cannot suppress your feelings. You got to let that stuff out. You got to cry that pain out. You can't walk around and bury that stuff on the inside and walk around and act as if that trauma, that thing that traumatized you and hurt you and wounded you and scarred you, um, you can't act like it's not there. You can't act like it's not hurting. You can't act like you're okay when you're not. Cause some, it's okay to not be okay, guys. If that thing hurting you, some people been through traumatizing experience as a child. Some people been through traumatizing experience in their parents as an adult. It's okay to not be okay. But you need to cry that pain out, not suppress those feelings, not let bottle them feelings up on the inside of you and act like they don't exist. You can't go around trying to make people think, I'm all right, when literally you are not all right. You know, it's okay not to be okay sometimes. It's okay to cry that stuff out because that's part of your healing. Like my therapist said, that's part of your healing is not to suppress them feelings and let that stuff out. In order to heal and move forward and move on and get over that thing and overcome that thing, you got to let those feelings out. You know, so I'm, I'm hoping this helps someone. I'm just sharing this with somebody. You know, if, if you want to let that thing go, allow God to heal you through therapy. You know what I'm saying? Allow him to heal you. God allowed the doctor to be here for a reason. He allowed the doctors to be here for a reason. He allowed the therapists to be here for a reason. It's a reason for everything. And he allowed the therapists and the doctors to be here to help heal you. Yeah, to help heal you. So, you know, um, so yes, allow yourself to heal from that traumatic experience, from that traumatic pain, from that thing that wounded you, from that thing that scarred you, from that thing that broken you. Allow yourself to heal, okay? Don't suppress those feelings. That's the advice I have for you guys. Um, okay, now about the grab bag, the Christmas grab bag, guys. Um, I'm going to have a Christmas grab bag with you guys. We all going to get together and have a Christmas grab bag with each other probably um, the second week of December. We're going to get together and we're going to have some fun together on here. I'm going to go live, guys, for the first time on here. I'm going to go live. I'm going to um have a Christmas grab bag with you guys, okay? I'm going to go live. We're going to have a Christmas grab bag. How we're going to do this is, okay, everybody want to participate in the grab bag, okay? I want you guys to... Drop down in the comment section that you want to participate. We're going to be a blessing to each other for Christmas. Um, we're going to give each other cash app and PayPal blessing. Uh, we're going to, what I'm going to do is I want you got all you guys to drop, everybody that want to participate in this grab bag, drop a comment in the comment section said, I want to participate or I want in. Okay, drop your name down in the comment section said, I want in. Okay, and I will take your name. I'm going to take everybody that's want to participate name. Put it in the, I'm going to write it down on a piece of paper. Put it in the bag, okay? And I'm going to shake that bag up real good. 
Okay? I'm gonna take the bag up. And then I'm gonna pull out a name. And uh no, nah, matter of fact, <laughs> I want everybody drop it in the comment section today. Okay. Then um I, you guys see if okay, give me about give me about three, four hours. Okay. I do, I do, I do you guys see everybody name in the um down there in the comment section. I'm going to uh write the names down, put in the big bag, shake the bags up, and then I'm gonna do a community post. And I'm gonna I'm trying to say I'm gonna do this. I'm going to um probably hold on one second, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna drop. I'm done. I'm gonna write down everybody now in the comment section, and I'm shaking the everybody name up in the bag, and I'm gonna pick a name out the bag, and I'm gonna write uh, your name down on the back of somebody else's uh, name, and whoever name I write your name on the back of, that's who I want. You got a blast for Christmas. I don't care if it's a ten dollar. Uh, blessing $20 blessing $50 blessing it's it's up to you how much you want to bless that person with the cash app or PayPal uh, whoever name I pick we put your name in front of the paper and their name whoever you got a blessed name gonna be on the back of the paper and whoever name on the back of that paper got to drop their PayPal and they cash app information up under your name in the comment section okay so that's how we're going to do that. I'm going to put your name on the front. We've got a blessed name going to be on the back. And I'm going to let, I'm going to let you know who you got to bless, who name you, who name I pick for you and who you got to bless. And then they drop and I'm going to have them to put, I'm going to let them know who picked them, who, who picked them. And who I pick? Who I pick for? Well, who, who, who name? Who name gonna be on it? I'm gonna let them know who name gonna be on the back of your name. And they gotta put their cash out in their PayPal in the comment section up under your name. And you can bless them with whatever how much you wanna bless them with. I don't care if it's five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, a hundred, whatever how much you wanna bless them with. You can bless them with, cause anything is better. Something is better than nothing. It's a blessing to, to be a blessing to somebody else. So we all, I want us to get together and do a grab bag and we make it fun and um, bless somebody for Christmas. I want us to get together and have a grab bag and bless each other for Christmas and whatever you can afford to give, that's what you give. If you can't afford to give big, don't worry about it. Um, it's still a blessing to be able to give. Something, give something. Something is better than nothing. You get, you get how much you want to give. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what I, that's how we're gonna do the grab bag. It's gonna be a financial grab bag. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be gifts. It's gonna be a financial grab bag where we bless each other through PayPal or either cash out. You know, you can give how however much you want. I don't care if it's 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50, you wanna do a hundred, more than a hundred, it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? That's your money. I'm not gonna tell you how much to give. So I just want everybody to be blessed for the for the for the holiday season this year. So that's my way of blessing all of us getting to, getting together and blessing one another is to do a Christmas grab bag for the month of December. I'm gonna drop in the community. I'm gonna put a community post up and letting you and letting you guys know what day I'm gonna have the grab bag on. And the day I had a grab bag, I'm gonna go live on that day and I'm gonna let you know who name uh, who name you who, who name you picked that I, that you picked through the grab bag through the bag and then you're gonna. Comment in the comment section your name, and then the person that's on the back of the paper name you that you that you got picking that you got chosen for gonna drop their cash app and their PayPal down there so you can bless them with some money for Christmas. Um, God bless us to be a blessing to someone else, and trust and believe when you bless somebody else, you're gonna get back blessed with it double. You gonna get more back than what you gave. You know what I'm saying? So God bless us to be a blessing to someone else. When you bless people, God will allow people to bless you. So that's what I want us to do. I want us to do a Christmas grab bag with each other in the month, the second week of December. 
Um, I'm going to be putting a community post, letting you guys know the exact date. We're going to do the grab bag on. So, guys, be ready. Be prepared. Like I said, it's going to be the second week of December when we do this grab bag. I'm going to go live and do this for the first time. I'm going to start going live off and on. And then I'm also going to, um, yeah, I'm going to start going live, guys, um, with you guys. Start going live and stuff like that. So, anyway, that's how we're going to do the grab bag, guys. So, um, like I said, I'm going to write your first name on the front. Whoever name you picking, I pick in the bag for you. They name gonna go on the back, and then they gonna, and then I'm let them know, um, that you that you pick them, and that this is the name that got you get that you get that they got picked for them. I mean, they got picked for you. <laughs> I'm gonna let them know that you picked them through the grab bag, and they drop their PayPal and they cash out through the com. Tell them drop their PayPal in the comment section up under your name. I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna say your name to them so they know what a, who named the. Put their cash app and a PayPal up under, you know, so you could be a blessing to that person. And you bless them with whatever you can afford to give. Because every little bit counts and help. Something is better than nothing at all. But whatever you bless somebody else with, you're going to get blessed back with it. Okay? You're going to get it back double. So, I just want to make sure everybody get blessed for Christmas. Anyway, um... So that's what I want to talk about. That in the Christmas grab bag with you guys. Uh, I'm going to start going live. And I'm also going to start doing reaction video, guys. This is my first time. I never did a reaction video before. I'm going to start doing reaction videos. And I'm going to start going live. All right, guys. So I just wanted to make this little video. Give you guys an update on my therapy sections. And I got a lot out. I mean, a lot. Out. And one thing I like about my therapist, she went back from my childhood all the way up to now. You know, because I went through some things in my childhood as well. So she went back all the way to from my childhood. She 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 working on helping me heal from childhood all the way up to now. That's what I love about her. She dig into my childhood. You know what I'm saying? She went. She dug all the way in my childhood. She's going through. She's going step by step from childhood to teenage year to younger to adulthood. She's going. She's doing it all. She's making sure I hear from everything. That's why I like about my therapy, my therapist. But anyway, guys. So anyway, I'm about to end this vlog. I love you guys. You guys are my family. Comment, subscribe, like, share, hit the post notification button. Stay on this journey with me. I love you guys. I wish nothing but blessings upon blessings upon you guys um comment subscribe like share hit the post notification button stay on this journey with me you guys are my family thanksgiving next week guys i'm gonna vlog cooking my thanksgiving dinner with you guys <laughs> yes i want to vlog cooking my thanksgiving dinner with you guys um also i'm gonna vlog cooking my christmas dinners as well so anyway guys i'm about to end this video love you guys Peace.